Hi guys, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Elliot Forbes, a barber based in central London. This is episode 59 of Men's Grooming Weekly. And today, different episode. We're in the barber shop. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the studio, barber shop, where I create content from. And I'm gonna talk through my barber tools and show you what I use actually to cut hair with. We're downstairs in the basement right now, but I'm gonna go upstairs back onto the street level and show you the street where we are and show you the little journey we have down the stairs. So the shop, outside of the shop, we're at Johnny's Chop Shop here, which is on Marshall Street. Marshall Street is in Soho. It's two roads off Carnaby Street, one of the most famous streets in London. It's on the same street as CP Company. We've got this little scooter shop here. We've got Billionaire's Boys Club right there. Cubits, which is like a real cool glasses brand, which is just here. And if we go a little bit further down here, we've got End, which is like a real cool streetwear shop. Great thing about London. Loads of cool things like this going on all the time. End is just down the bottom there. Real cool streetwear brand. Real nice part of London, actually. There's really vibrant, lots of things going on. I absolutely love London, London's a great place. Coming then into the store, we go in through here, obviously the shop is all closed at the moment. Let's turn some of these lights on so we get a little vibe from it. So upstairs, this is where a lot of the other guys would cut hair from. Barber shop down here. We then go down these stairs. Try and put it up. So we go down these stairs. We've got the toilet in through here. We then come downstairs and this is where, this is where the magic happens. This is the studio space which we've got going on here. So this is like kind of my private little space of what I've got here. Got this lovely neon sign up on the wall. It turned up a couple of weeks ago. It was making a really loud noise. And I got really annoyed because obviously for the ASMR stuff, that is not ideal. It's far from ideal, but actually it was just because of one of these, the dimmers which they've got up there, they just need to turn off. So we've got this nice little table on the side here. If anyone wants to sit down, I'm gonna be recording some podcasts from this space as well. So when you see me recording Men's Grooming Weekly, the microphone will actually be attached onto the side here. So I'll record this, I move that into the middle here, and then the light will be back that way. And as the, the normal shot which you got, it's kind of like around there, isn't it? And that's the kind of normal shot which we would have. Onto the side here, we've got this nice display unit, all the different products which they've got. Got my camera here. So the camera which I've got on, that I'm using at the moment, this is like the Canon M50 with like a bit of a wide angle lens. This camera which we're looking at, just like obviously right here, that is for when I'm taking portraits. It's got a bit of a, a different lens on it, so it works really easy and really nice for that. Get some good shots. This is the chair which I drove all the way down to Froome to, to go and get and it's been my trusty little chair. I went and bought this myself and I'll be honest, I absolutely love it. It's great. I do absolutely love having my own Belmont. It feels like a real nice treat actually. In terms of what we're going to be going on this wall, actually, we've got this new frame delivered today. So actually, I think that's going to take up like quite a large area of this space. It's going to have, and they're going to change the photos every sort of couple of months or so. In terms of what we've got on the wall, all of this on the ceiling, it's supposed to, it's like soundproof wood. It's cool, it's got a real lovely effect on it that obviously then carries on the walls here. So it's got this, if you look to the side, it's almost got like this, this little padding to it. So it just, obviously this has got like the, a bit of a gap, so it's not doing the job there. But in terms of the ceiling, that's all padded on there. And that's exactly the same thing which we've got on that wall there. So it just helps to absorb some of the sound when we're recording. As you probably just saw there, these lights need changing. So that one there, and then if we rotate around and that one, have to turn them off manually because they just have not worked. They just flash. So as you can imagine on the camera, having that flashing is far from ideal. So we've had to turn them off manually. I think these lights which we've got on the side here, I think these are really effective. I really like them. They just give it a nice pop of white light to it. And then we've got that one on there. That almost gets actually a little bit lost. Um, I guess because it's so white, but actually it's yeah, just an extra bit of light there I think it works great and obviously the masterpiece the the hundred thousand subscribers So looking forward to when that turns into a gold one and we get the the million subscribers Maybe one day got these actually these are like little placards because I was yeah, well, finalist for the rising star so it's like the Top junior that was like under 30 year old didn't actually win it, but I got it as a finalist. And this is one for top hairdresser that's a man under 30, and at least that was a finalist for that. Unfortunately, didn't win that one either. But yeah, I do like putting myself out for those sort of awards and potentially sort of trying to win them. It's I think it's important just to keep putting yourself out to potentially see how you're doing and measure and use it almost as like a, a measuring stick. Got these nice plants on the wall. These are actually fake, but I think they work quite nicely in there. They just go and add a little bit of extra dimension to it. This plant here and this plant here are actually gonna be going outside. So obviously we've got these sort of fake ones just outside in this courtyard area. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have this one sort of placed here. That's gonna stand up on the outside and then on the other one's gonna stand here. So it's almost gonna look like, when you're looking through it, it's almost gonna look like it's a, a bit of an orangery 
in through there so it gives like a real sort of like outside doors effect so i think that'll be cool although actually i'm really liking having them in these two positions so i don't know maybe once we get them outside we might feel a bit empty and maybe we will need to get something more in here because i think they look great at the moment fan it's hot down here at the moment this neon sign chucks out so much heat so that's been an absolute imperative and necessity at the moment and we go out through this door here this then takes us out to to where i have like the fridge got obviously got my little tripod on the side the trusty brush got the fridge in here which i tend to stock with loads of stuff so what we've got we've got a load of coke zero we've got a load of beer we've got monster we've got some tonic we've got almond no sugars we've got oat milk I do love myself some oat milk got the towel heater there so this is the, this is where we'll do the hot towels that'll go we'll put those on there that then keeps it really nice and heated we've got the uh, we've got the little gloves here so i can do the hot towels so i don't burn my hands we've got in here this box this is the uh, these are the towels the disposable towels which i use for when i'm washing someone's hair now these are great they're super eco-friendly you wash someone's hair it's way more cleaner and more hygienic and also these degrade within six weeks, I think it is. So they're actually great. I think they're just, they're just single use, but work fantastically. Got the bin, that's where I put like the hot towels in once I've used them and then they'll get taken home to get washed. Six pack of milk in here, extra monster, extra Coke Zero, some cleaning stuff. And here we go, what have we got? We got some Bushmills whiskey. We got this Roku gin. Everyone seems to like, quite like the Roku gin. I think I would say the most popular drink which people have when they're in here, it would either be Coke Zero or gin and tonic. People do love a gin and tonic. We've got this cushion here from home. When Luna comes into the store, she'll sort of be sort of sleeping and resting on that in through here. This is all just a little bit of a mess, but we have that light on there just so that actually when we are in, in here, you can sort of, it lights it up a little bit so it sort of comes into there, but you can see actually it lights it up quite a bit. So it actually gives it quite a nice effect in through there. Then I actually have this, there's this side room, so actually when we come through here, I actually got this as like my office space. It's not done at the moment, and as you can see, the lighting is far from ideal in here as well, but it's on its way. I'm looking forward to doing a load of editing. I think I'm actually gonna get like a proper, like gaming desk set up here. So I'm gonna get this so it's like a proper, yeah, proper setup. I think then I'll probably almost do like some recording from here as well. So have that set up, coming back in this angle. We'll do some nice design on the wall here, I think. Get like a proper chair to sit on so I can actually do some proper editing. In terms of what we've got here at the moment, I like this is where I make my flat white. So that nice little milk frother, kettle on the floor. Just got this the other day from Ikea. So that needs to, to be filled up soon with some, some other things. Need to put the kettle on there. That's where I make my morning shakes. I always do a protein shake after I've been in the gym. That's a couple of things that was like from the place before that was here. It's got these old doll's heads here. So I'm actually gonna be using that like to cut and style. There's another one in that box there, which actually I'm gonna be using for, for more stuff. Got my protein shake, got lots of tea bags on the side here. Got my mic and my recording stuff on the side, first aid box. Got this big light, which I used to, to light when, when I'm in there. That's the new frame, which has turned up, which we need to get out and we're gonna start using. Everything's been so busy recently. So that's all gonna get sorted out within the next couple of weeks or so, actually. And then that'll all be, that'll all be pretty cool in there. So far, I've actually just been doing a load of editing, sat on this chair and through there, put my laptop on, do it there. And it's actually been great. It's actually really nice doing a lot of stuff from in here as well, because it's so bright. Got that nice neon sign as well. It just sort of gives it a nice bit of extra depth and a bit of color to everything. So it actually works great. We've, you've had a little tour of the place. Now let's have a little look at the tools and show you what it is I actually use when I'm cutting hair and the little things I do use. So this is the main desk where most of my tools are. It is a little bit messy and there's a few hairs at the moment. I've been cutting hair all day today actually, so it is a little bit messy. Clippers, my main go-to set are these wall, 100 year anniversary set actually, and these have been great. Really enjoyed using these. Super powerful, really nice just really easy to use i've always really liked them i've actually got two sets of these i've got another set actually just down here which i'll show you in a minute these ones are just my normal ones I haven't got like a name engraved on them or anything this is a lovely brush this is from sacco which is a their hair education company really nice brush and it just really easy to get all the hairs off my scissors these are i think they're five and a quarter inch and they're from a brand called Allion. let me show you them on the, there they're really nice. It's got like this offset angle, the off offset handles. So you can see how there's like a slight tilt in there, how it just goes slightly offset. These are lovely to cut hair out of. Actually, they're really slim, really light. They're a real nice pair of scissors. I think I need them sharpening though. I think they just need to, to freshen them up a little bit. Foils, I use these Andes ones. These have been great actually, just super simple to use. Just use them when I'm going all the way down to skin on someone. 
I've been testing out these babyliss clippers, which I got sent. Babyliss sent them through to me a few weeks ago, actually, and I've been getting used to them. These are quite nice. I've been getting used to them, but also they're nice if I'm, say, cutting someone's hair and, say, doing like a two or a three or something like that. I haven't quite got used to them if I'm doing a skin fade. Um, and also, I haven't been a massive fan of these, like the mini trimmers which they've got with these. They have the skeleton ones, which look fantastic and are supposed to be great. I'm looking forward to trying them, but these other ones which I've got there, I haven't quite got used to them, don't seem to get like the same cut as what I'm, I'm used to. Uh, this is the clip side spray, which you always use then to be able to you know, use in between clients, use all the time just to be able to make sure everything is nice and clean and nice and fresh. Disinfected, use these clips, or then when if I'm sectioning the hair off, so to, to, to part the top from the sides. Actually, so I've got these guards. So the, the guards I've been using actually mainly over the last couple of weeks have been these babyliss ones. So the, the guards, which are for these, I've actually really like these. They're actually quite soft, but they're, they're really nice and I've, I've quite enjoyed them. Obviously for the, I actually then have the one and a half guard in, in the see-through set of these walls. And they're actually, well, like they're fake wall ones. They're, obviously they don't do them in see-through, but actually they've been really nice. I've got the rest of the see-through set underneath here actually so we'll sporadically use them so i've got like the number four there i've got the three mini trimmers i've been using recently have actually been these ones which are actually just a cheap set from like amazon but they've been great i've really got used to them they're really nice they don't go like super sharp like i don't tend to do too many like edge ups and line ups but actually they've been great um to be able to use they just it's been super easy like from doing a skin fade just gets rid of a load of the bulk really easily these have been a, a, these have been some ones which i've actually liked a lot over the years. Dropped these a couple of weeks ago and then there's like a little tooth missing on the side. So that was far from ideal. What have we got down here? We've got some old thinning scissors, which I would use. I tend to use them, say on hairline. So like, so say like right on the back of someone's neck. And say if it's growing out a little bit and we want a little bit more texture and softness in through there, I'll use that through the hairline just to tr almost like shatter it a little bit. Tend to find that works really nicely. Or if we want the fringe to look as though it's a little bit chewed on and not so sort of like say perfect, we will, I'll sort of use them in through there just to break it up in through that front hairline. And that seems to work really nicely. So the razor which I've been using for a lot of the shaves when I'm shaving someone else, this is a feather razor, lovely razor this is. The, the blades are a little bit expensive for this, I think it's like a quid a blade, but actually the razor is really nice, it shaves lovely and I do enjoy shaving people with that. Got another brush, this one is the softest brush I've ever felt in my life, it's so soft, you feel that and it's just almost like a... Yeah, I don't, it's, it's synthetic, so it's not a real animal, but my God, it's so soft. So there's two different types of actual blades which are used for that feather razor. So these ones are light ones. So these are a bit, if you've got a bit more of a, uh, a, bit more of a sensitive skin, they're great for that. We'll use them quite frequently. Uh, then the other ones I've got actually are elsewhere. Some razor blades in here, more razor blades. Bigger pair of scissors, they're like a six inch pair, which I would have got a few years ago, but I'll be honest, I haven't used them for a few years. When I'm recording, if I get a little bit of a spot, I'll use a little bit of concealer, put that on my nose, I'll put that on somewhere just to, to blend it out a little bit to try and make myself look a little bit better, but don't tend to use that too much. Imperative, got to have the neck tape, put that on before the gown so that the gown's not touching that person's neck again. Then we've got my combs in through here. A couple of different clipper combs, YS Park one. This black one is actually lovely. It's a really nice. It's lovely to refine into the top to get that nice flat silhouette. It's really quite thin, so you get it really nice and refined. I don't really have a go-to comb, I'd say. I use one of these three. So this is a Cessabon, a really nice one. That's a buoy comb. And this one is also a buoy one, but it's actually just black and blue. They're exactly the same, same weight, but just different colors. I'd say, I use them all pretty equally, to be honest, and just, yeah, we'll just sort of flick how I feel at that moment. Got the Supras. These are great if you want to get rid of that, get it all the way down to the skin super quick. So that's the triple zero blade we've got on there. Takes the hair all the way down to the skin for a skin fade super quick. Got my blade banks. So that's where any of the blades go in, the razor blades. Got the nice Byredo after shaving through here. Then we've got some, a nice couple of candles when we, when we're feeling a little bit ambient or we want to increase the mood, add a little bit of candle light in through there. Got this Johnny's Chop Shop box here, actually. This is really cool. It's like a wooden sort of gift set. You open it up, magnets, and it's got, yeah, so you've got like some of their products. This is actually the old tins which they've got here. We've got that, and then you've got like this VIP card, so they give this out to special people if they're sort of like influencers or something. This one actually, as you can tell, was for Lewis Capaldi, although he clearly didn't take it home as it's still here. But lovely bit of kit, actually. Really nice, really nice and very cool. What have we got in through these? So that's just a gown. In through here, that's just some, like, some of my old tools and old stuff which I've used in the past. Some spray. 
got the COVID test. If you want to do any rapid test, that's then for if I'm taking any photos and want to get like a nice little reflector. Got that, that there on the side. Underneath, we've got some mass and more tests. These little stands are for the, um, the lights on the wall. So if we want to put them up, down on the ground, you can stand them up. There's a couple of things that go with it. Put them on there. That's for the camera. What have we got in through this one? So they've got some odds and sods in through it. Damon Barber stuff, really nice. I got sent these hand, this hand gel actually from a company. These are really nice. It's like got some oils in there. The problem I've had with so many hand sanitizers, they make your hands so dry. That's been really nice. Love the La Roche Posay stuff, really nice. Got this, I got Shuamura sent me through this last week actually, it's their rice water. Seems to be really nice on say longer hair if you spritz that in. Helps to really sort of like nourish and hydrate the hair. It's almost like a bit of a leave-in conditioner. These are for like the speaker system, which we've got. Actually, let's go on to the speaker system. So I decided I've I've always struggled. I've always struggled in barbershops. Felt like the music is never really that great in terms of like the placement of it. And it never really feels like it sort of grabs your attention or it's in the right place. So I decided actually to get this sort of five speaker set. But subwoofer, we've got the speak one speaker there. We've got another speaker just in through here. We've got another speaker on the side there. One on the ground here. And then we've got one just there actually. And it's been great actually. So it's sort of obviously you've got the person sat in the chair here and you've got those five all around you. And it works really nicely. I've been actually really impressed with it. I actually play all of my music then off the, 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 the laptop, which I put on the side there. Seems to work really well and been, yeah, really happy with that. A few of these Damon, Damon Barber products. That face wash seems to be quite nice as well. Actually, I've used that recently. A couple of different shaving creams from Mueller. We've got the sandalwood and we've got the, the sea bookthorn one. We've got the white moss by Akakapa. That's a nice one. Got the, the Mueller rocker razor on the side here. That's a lovely one. And actually, we've got like my, probably my favorite razor. That's the, uh, that's the R89 from Mueller as well. Really lovely razor. Again, in through here, a bit of a mishmash. We've got masks. We've got the Shuamura stuff. I love the Shuamura brand there. Some like really nice products they do. It's kind of like upper end stuff. I think like, say like the cream and the paste, they're about like 25 quid or so. So it's really nice stuff. Really expensive stuff. The La Roche Posse, I've been using that as a toner. That's been a really nice one. This is like the old, old branding of the Johnny stuff. Actually, you'll see now, I'll show you. So this is the old branding of the Johnny stuff. I'll show you comparing it to like the new stuff and of that, how it's now a lot more refined. And yeah, I think it looks a lot a lot better now so that's the old one old one new one new one of like this the exact same products but yeah as you can see this just looks a lot nicer a lot more refined and a bit more expensive looking the feel just looks way better to be honest next one ah so this is like a load of the shuamura products which i've got as well recently so these are all like the different shampoos so these are said these purple ones are say if you've got um like blonde hair these ones actually if you've got fine hair i think these ones i think this one is if you've got like damaged hair uh, yeah ultimate reset extreme repair so i haven't tried the extreme repair ones but i'm looking forward to trying them out the other two which i've been using so far and we've just got some cleaning spray in there some shaving soap a nice little iphone charger what have we got on this other one here ah we've got the famous allen block everyone knows what the allen block is don't we? we've got some nice shaving cream Actually, we've got some of these scents. One of my clients brought these in for me to use, actually, and there's a few different testers. So I liking, I've been liking trying them out and using the different scents. They've been lovely to smell. Some more La Roche Posay stuff. So we've got like, this, this one's quite interesting. So literally, this is like a hyaluronic acid, but it's got a built-in SPF with it as well. So I've been, I'm not a massive fan of using hyaluronic acid in the morning, so I haven't been using too much of this because it makes my skin super oily and makes it look really hydrated. So I never tend to use that too much during the day. So I haven't used that too much. In here, we've got a load of different tools. I bought these actually during one of the lockdowns and never got around to using them. So these are things for, so actually you'll see, these are a couple of like the Slimline Pros, which I've got on the side there. So these are like Andy's clippers. But then what I did was I bought, so like some different sets for them. So like these are like transparent sets. I also bought them for like my main clippers as well. So I've got like this to be able to then, like for the, for the seniors that I've got, Put them on there i think there's another one i bought a few different ones actually but haven't put them in yet so actually this is my other set of the the hundred year anniversaries so this is my other set of the hundred year anniversaries got my name on the side of it so i've got that nicely engraved on it this is quite cool they haven't for some reason you have favorite clippers i didn't these didn't seem to i didn't seem to enjoy using these as much as the other ones i've got like the white ceramic blade on these so actually they they've they, they just don't seem to just to cut as nice as the other ones i think i've just got used to using those other ones and prefer them a bit more 
Yeah, so I've got a new different blade on there to be able to attach to it. I think there's a couple, yeah, so I've got like, like a gold one as well. So I think then also bought like some ceramic blades for the Andis ones as well. So yeah, there's a couple of like little different adapters on there. And yeah, then like a little ceramic blade then to be able to put on that, attach them two together and put them on there. And I think, yeah, build sort of two new clippers because they stopped working. So sort of build two new clippers out of them, but using like the see-through stuff. I haven't got around to actually doing them. Just life gets very busy, doesn't it? It's got them, then underneath this next one, just the attachments for the diffuser dryer. It's on the side there. And we've got like a little makeup brush. I use that, so if I'm doing a shoot, you put like a little bit, a nice little tip actually. If you feel like your hair's like got lots of flyaways, put a little bit of hairspray onto the hair, and then actually then just brush it with a brush. Because if you use it with a hand, that your hand can almost get a little bit stuck to it. But actually if you spray some hairspray and then almost just brush it with a brush, that then gets the hair, that then gets the flyaway sort of tucked into the hair very nicely, but it doesn't really pull them apart too much. So that's a nice little tool for that. In terms of what I've got here, we've got most of my tissues on the side here, a little bit of shaving cream. We've got some money, we've got some pound coins, another Allen block. Got the products on the side here, which we have. And over on this side, we've got the shampoo and conditioner, which I use. When I'm cutting clients' hair, I tend to use the, the Shu Amur stuff because it is really lovely stuff. This is like Babyliss dryer. I need to get a new different one, actually, because this is, well, it's been great, but it's nowhere near as good as the Dyson, which I used to have. That's the diffuser attachment. That's not as good as the diffuser attachment as what you get on the Dyson. But for the time being, it's doing all right. And then obviously, because I've got the hair dry here, keep my brushes in the, in the side here. Now I've got this bad boy here. So what you do is you brush all these hairs up, put it all into the side here, and then you just kick at the bottom, and then it sucks all those hairs up. So that's actually, that'd been great. So you can just, you just empty that at the end of the day, and it's been super handy then to be able to just clean up easier in between clients. And there we go. There's a little sort of tour of the barber shop and where I create content from. I might do a little bit more of a refined one and a little bit more cinematic one when I get a proper videographer and someone to help edit it all. But as it's just me that's doing everything in the moment, just do it like quite, hold it myself and a bit more of a raw footage one. But you get the general gist of how it all is in here. And yeah, very nice, very... Very nice actually to be in here and actually enjoyable to cut hair and actually to create content from. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did enjoy it and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, why not? Get subscribed now. Click on that little button, give it a little thumbs up and come along on this journey with me. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'll answer them in a video or something like that. Thanks so much for watching. Have a brilliant rest of your day. Much love, guys. Elliot.